lighting spot. Well, it's almost, I got hit twofold. My preferred spot was taken by Karate Kids. And then my second preferred spot was taken by a yoga class. So I hope they at least enjoy the fucking lighting while they're doing the downward dog. But here's a good spot too. And dude, geez, just by feeling. Dude, my biceps are fucking pumped to hell. This might be up there with one of the best pumps ever. At least top 10 for arms, for sure. I can say that with a pretty high freaking degree of certainty. So let's just run through some freaking, uh, let's run through some poses. We're not there yet, of course, but a little Kevin Laroni action. Ooh. Ooh. Love it. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, front last spread. Almost forgot. Front last spread with an arm pump. I love it. Oh my goodness. All right, one more double buy. Just for shits and giggles. Yeesh. Dude, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna fucking rip my biceps off just by straightening my arms completely. Ooh. I fucking love it. Actually, what else is there? There's not really any others, but I don't think there's any need for any other freaking arm poses. Those were... Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's sick. So, a good grading scale on whether or not your arms are... Let's just say, well, I guess if you're a beginner, even if you have the craziest arm pump ever, you might still be able to touch your elbows or touch your, uh, your fingers to your shoulders. But as you progress, if when your arms get pumped up, you can no longer make contact, then that is a good freaking sign. <clears throat> yeah. So when I'm unpumped, I can touch my shoulders with my middle fingers, even with my you know index finger. But pumped up, they're like freaking, I don't know, what are two things they're not supposed to touch each other? whatever but fully pumped i'm freaking starving i may stop at canes again i think i have a problem not a bad problem though you know but let's get out of here